This is Chiranjeevi. This question appeared in December 19, 2016, CSIR net. The question is, the major product formed in the following reaction is. Okay, we have the reactant here. So, ion on mercuric acetate and sodium bromide and on oxygen and sodium borohydride. So, on these conditions, what will be the choices of these four? Okay, then and what will be the right answer? Now. So we are going to solve the problem right down. So when mercuric state reacts with this alkenic uh, molecule okay so always this alkenic molecule act as nucleophile so that's why so it gives its electrons to mercury and from the mercury it abstracts okay and then Okay, further the lone pair electrons on the nitrogens are attacked here and uh, we have the chances of uh, two possibilities consider this is A and consider this is B okay and to compensate this positive charge on the mercury so the lone pair of electrons from the nitrogen attacking on this on two positions A and B and uh, so if you observe A so from this we can get So this will be the next step and, and if you observe B This is six member ring. Okay, so this is also possible, but the five membered five member exo trig trigonal uh, ring is favored when we compared with a six member ring so these are all from Baldwin rules these two are possible according to Baldwin rings but the major uh, stable product, product is five membered exo trigonal ring so that's why so when we compared with the, the, these two options so this is more possible when we compared with uh, this one Okay, then we consider the uh, this one for the further reactions. Okay, right. More possible and uh, stable one, more stable. Okay, next we should consider this alkyl to compensate this next step. Uh, positive charge on the nitrogen it abstract electron from the hydrogen bond and 
removal of this one by the loss of acetic acid and by the addition of sodium bromide which is given in the reaction conditions okay so this bromine attacks here on mercury this negative charged bromine attacks on mercury and removal of a state so come totally by the loss of acetic acid we can get the product uh, that means next step product is like this and cb said mercury c and brown so this is the next step right so we should check alkyl this alkyl mercuric halides reactions we should check alkyl mercuric reactions on molecular oxygen and sodium bor borohydrides for the simplification uh, i'm giving general generalized mechanism of alkyl mercuric halides with mo molecular oxygen and sodium borohydride okay for that alkyl mercuric halides alkyl mercuric halides when reacts with borohydrides or simply sodium borohydrides here we are taking can get or hgh reduction takes place then further this produce alkyl radical okay by breaking here alkyl radical this alkyl radical reacts with singlet molecule of oxygen or molecular oxygen and produces ro radical and this ro radical reacts with another alkyl mercuric hydride and produces roh plus alkyl radical plus mercury right and this on further r o o h on borohydride it produces alcohol this is the final product we can observe in alkyl mercuric halide compounds okay so this is the generalized mechanism given for it and if you observe this generalized mechanism to the given problem here okay on so here is uh, takes place of uh, radicals and uh, this radical reacts with molecular oxygen so and here is the formation of sorry o h so i'm giving direct directly and this on further sodium borohydride we can get cb said oh so this is the final product we can observe in the given problem okay right if you observe the stereochemistry this should be in uh, below when we can consider with this because of mercury is heavy ma heavy metal and when it the mercuric attack and alkene it takes place through the below of the the plane of this uh, moiety because so methyl group is above here that's why this bulky mercuric metal attack from the below side of this 
uh, molecule hence so this is in below so you can cancel like this so this is so everything below so that's why we can get the final product here is so below you can change this one into this one so from that we can easily pick up the answer for for the right option for the given problem okay so here you should uh, check the uh, generalized reaction mechanism I'm just giving then given here directly the final product you should once again check and uh, practice this generalized mechanism for the given problem thank you if you like my videos subscribe my channel thank you